Hi Chewies, here's Alexandra coming to you with another painting tutorial. Today we don't uh, paint an entire miniature, but I show you uh, how to paint the uh, so-called coconut crab pattern uh, for uh, the Turnit Carapace. It is a, a quite um, prevalent uh, painting scheme that is uh, um, on the market, so to speak, uh, for several time, uh, for several years, and uh, well, I want to show it to you. Um, the miniature I'm uh, painting this on is uh, just a uh, very old uh, Turnit warrior ad uh, laying around. I painted him like 13 years ago or something like that. So uh, don't mind the rest of the paint job. Uh, we are concentrating uh, us. Uh, on the carapace, and as you can see, I have uh, base coated uh, the carapace already in uh, skeleton bone or uh, any other uh, bone color, for example, here, weight bone uh, from Games Workshop should suffice. So, um, the coconut crab pattern is uh, basically uh, three colors um, uh, stacked uh, against each other in a, a slightly wavery pattern, and then uh, you have dots of the different uh, colors um, entering the other uh, colored spaces. So overall it, uh, it gives it a very nice organic uh, look uh, to the carapace instead of uh, this uh, version here. This is uh, the old uh, uh, stripe uh, highlight method. Uh, if you uh, want to see that then uh, watch any of my other uh, Turnit painting tutorials. Um, but uh, well we go ahead now. Um, I will now take uh, the second color. In this case, uh, I will use this uh, uh, Marte Mars Orange here, or Naranja uh, SC39 from uh, Scale Color <coughs> uh, as the second uh, color pattern. So, give it a little touch of water. Yeah. Just like that. And now, like I said, uh, we will start with a, a slightly wavery pattern here and uh, paint a stripe down here the carapace. Just like that. So, same for the other side. There we are already done. Okie dokie. With a nice bright base coat. This color uh, covers really nice. <clears throat> so, and then uh, we go for the third color. In this case, I use uh, Rhinox Hide or any other, uh, well, chestnut uh, colored brown would suffice. Sorry for hitting the lamp. Still getting used to my new lamp position here. <coughs> yeah, and with that, just cover the middle part of the carapace. And here with this little bumps, it is a little bit more difficult, but not impossible. So if it is a little bit uneven, that doesn't matter, we want uh, the slightly wavery pattern in there. <coughs> So these colors overall have uh, already a, a really nice uh, uh, dark bright contrast. And what we are going to do now 
is we take uh, the different colors and uh, make splotches in the other areas. So let's uh, start with the um, with the dark brown that we had previously. <coughs> and then we simply make dots. Bloop. Don't overdo it, just a few would suffice. If uh, the brush uh, starts to get, or start to lose its tip a little bit, just apply a new color. reset the tip <clears throat> okay my brush is not naturally not good enough for uh, that small tips so let's get a small brush we want really nice uh, round dots Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> so, same on the other side. It's good when uh, some are touching the starting area. smaller the pattern the harder it gets but here on the uh, big surface that's uh, what most important what is most important because it's most visible there see make really nice round splotches you simply have to uh, gently push down the brush It's best to uh, go directly from uh, top down, don't angle your brush. Okay, there we go. That is color pattern number one. Now we go with the orange and same again. We start here and making nice little blotches into the different areas. Also here into the brown. can also make the blotch into a different blotch, like there. It's also a nice touch. Let's do it again here at the big brown one. Let's do an orange one in the middle. See, just like that.
takes a while to get uh, absolutely perfect, but uh, over time you uh, get used to making the spots and it gets easier and easier over time. Let's make some adjacent, like that, touching, but not directly centered. Having a steady uh, rested hand is also a good idea. So, for example, both hands are on the table. I'm stabilizing with my uh, little finger on the painting holder, and uh, that way I have a super steady hand and can target wherever I want. And now, last but not least, uh, we use the uh, bright color. Almost done. Come on. Okay, there we're done. And that's basically the uh, coconut crab pattern. I hope you like this and you uh, try that at one of your tournaments. Um, I have also uh, tried it out on this one here in a different color uh, pattern for uh, this is uh, how I uh, imagine the Leviathan uh, um, splinter tendril uh, was looking that uh, Inquisitor Kripman has sent into the uh, Orc Kingdom and uh, they uh, emerged there victorious and I believe, uh, well, after eating lots and lots of Orcs, they might uh, adapt to a more Orky skin tone and uh, that's how they might turn out. But... Uh, yeah, here are two variants of the uh, crab pattern. Here I have uh, used only two colors here with a uh, uh, purple and pink. You could also uh, now go ahead and uh, um, give this a little bit of a wash to, um, well, increase the uh, three-dimensionality. 
And uh, yeah, we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra. Bye.